Hello, this is Arnie, and this is my new Conan film. Huh? Oh, that's not me. Oh, no, no Conan for me. Oh, shit. Oh, back to Predator 3. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Hello, you sexy guys and girls. Sorry about that. I'm always messing around, aren't I? Um, I've just got another amazing uh, still that just come through the post. Like, wow. Um, now, I have to firstly say before I go any further, <clears throat> it's an okay film. If you're a guy, you're going to love this film because it's got blood, it's got set of limbs, it's got severe sore slashing, and if you've got a surround sound, you can really hear the bones crunching uh, on the surround sound on this. Absolutely fantastic. So, a lot of action. It's more of a guy's film than it is a girl's film. Uh, film? Film? F film? Oh. See what I mean when I only do one take of a video, it goes all wrong. I, I suppose that's part of the fun. Um, yeah, it's more of a guy's film, so blood, gore, boobs. You've got lots of boobs, lots of women. Uh, it's just, just, as I say, it's, it's a total guy's film. Um, and it's very entertaining. It's not the best movie out there, I'm not going to lie. I've seen better, but it is enjoyable, and it's a good hour and a half good fun ride through it. Rose McGowan is such an evil, sexy character in this with a clawed hand, and you've got the chap from Avatar with the scars down the side of his face. He's also got a lead role as the main enemy in this movie too. So, not bad at all. Uh, firstly, before I can go any further, and you can't see it on this video, but um, this is a different sort of feel still, but I've never had one like this before. I don't know if you can see it, but if I zoom in, can you see all those sort of ripples? on the actual steel bot itself. It looks like basically someone's got a glossy roller and rolled all over it and it's got this really nice feel to it. And um, it's glossy at the same time and it feels lovely. And I've never had one with this sort of finish before and I applaud it, absolutely love it. I wish I had more like this. So that's the sort of the feel to it itself. Another thing that you can't see on the camera, but the lovely words Conan with the sword is all embossed as well. Well hey. Double bubble. So we got a lovely feel to it and we got embossing on the whole words Conan and the sword itself, which is raised. Really, really nice. Don't know, is the three no the three D's not raised, just the, the oh, I love the feel there. It feels so nice. Um yeah, it is in three D and two D as well. But I did this see this in the cinema and um apart from the first five minutes, the three D sucks. So um don't pay extra money for a three D version of this one. Just get the 2D. Honestly, the 3D is not worth it. It comes with this disc, so it doesn't matter. Um, but in the UK, they tend to buy a, a release a 3D and a 2D, and it's a waste of money paying extra for the 3D because it's not worth it. Uh, as for the artwork, it's really, really nice. Um, all right, it's a half-naked man, so um, that, that's a bit of a thumbs down. A, a half-naked woman would have been better, but um, we'll have to make do, and um, I'll tell you what, to make you all, all the guys that watch here feel a bit more comfortable, let's just zoom in on his face, and uh, we don't have to look at his body then. <laughs> um, no, I'll stop, I'll stop mucking around. Uh, okay, uh, it's got a nice background. So you've got the flames around it, and there's some birds, and there's that big city in the background as well. And it's against good sort of skyline lighting as well. And you see a twinkle on the sword. Now, I can't read French, so I don't know what that word is unless I go on Google Translator and um, find out. It's probably like, um, I am the... T I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to even try and say something funny because it's coming out stupid. <laughs> uh, but above it, the Metropolitan Edition Collector as well. So overall... You know, that's a 10 out of 10 for the front cover. I really like it. I love the feel. I love the embossing. I love the colours. I like the design of the artwork. It's really, really nice. Uh, what I didn't mention is this is a French version. This come out on a Friday. You can get this at Amazon.fr. Uh, don't buy it on eBay because I've seen the prices of it on eBay and the double the price of what you buy it on Amazon. So um, go on there and don't um, give all these greedy people on eBay extra profits when it's not worth that and it costs them half the price. So Amazon.fr, type in Conan and you'll see the special edition version with the same picture as this come out on the screen. Get it from there if you want to. Uh, France is the only place that you can get it at the moment. There's no other countries that have released it. Uh, but if you're a still book lover, you're going to love it. Look at that, look at that. It's, it's a metallic game, not the front cover. And it's got a lovely, lovely look at that. Look, look. He's standing on my skull in 50 years' time. Yeah. Uh, now, he's looking down. Sadly, he's wearing a dress. Although, 
it's not really a dress, but there's a lovely, lovely skyline to it. You see that the sunlight just behind him, it raises up to the darker sky. And uh, as I said, you've got all them skulls that you could um, possibly take and go 10 pin bowling with if you want. Uh, and they've got good detail on them too. You see that one? Look, it's, it's been hit on the top of the head and it's a bit darker. And um, you've got the teeth. So it's got a good detail on the skulls too. And as I said, I got in with these magic sword as well. So that's a really nice back artwork too. So, so I've got a thumbs up for the front cover and I've got a thumbs up for the back cover. Hey, well this is going to keep going because I like the side as well. So if we put it on the side, there we go, the Conan. Um, disappointing to have the 3D again. Yeah, I get it. 3D at the front. You don't need it on the side as well. Conan on its own looks so much nicer. So that's a shame. Um, and you've got the Blue Way 3D there. So what's it doing there? You... Oh dear, honestly. Right, um, and then we got a little um, sort of a, is it Metropolitan again, isn't it? Yeah, Metropolitan edition, the, the video's on there. So there you go, nice side, nice back, little gripe with the binder bit with the 3D on it, but um, hey, I'm a steel book moaner. You've got to put up with these sort of things on my videos and shaky hand camcorder because I'm always shaking it about because I could get excited. Uh, if I open it up, uh, we had two discs. Here's one of them. Uh, worryingly, he looks a little bit like an ugly woman there, but um, uh, he looks better in the other print on the other video I've got running on the TV, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Which I'm going to have great fun because it's got so much gore and boobs in it, I'm going to find a bit that doesn't show it, so uh, that'll be a laugh. Um, okay, well, the artwork is really, really nice. There we go. Can you see that? Now, that's the artwork from the uh, front cover of the UK poster. And if I zoom in, there he is again, a massive bloke. I mean, they couldn't really pick a famous muscly bloke, so they had to go for an unknowner, and uh, I guess he does the job. He just lacks a bit of um, personality in this movie, you know? A bit like Arnie, he's got that little presence, even though his acting's awful. This guy can act, but he, he's just a bit dull, I'm afraid. Whilst all the characters around him are really interesting and fun. There's Rachel McNichols. Uh, you'd have remembered her from um, films like... P2, she was the green woman in the new Star Trek movie. The hot babysitter in um, the Amateurville Horror, the remake. She's a really good actress as well. Um, Rose McGowan looking really unrecognisable, wearing a really sexy costume in this movie and the big clawed hand. And then there's that chap from Avatar, the one with the big claws down the side of his head. Looks a bit different now. He's also in the TV series, really good TV series, Terra Nova as well. So that's a lovely looking artwork. And it's just the sky on the right hand side which goes across, so um, nothing I can really show you on that side. But that looks so kind of cool, eh? Thumbs up, yeah? You want to get your battle sword out? It feels like that type of movie. Okay, let's switch it over. Uh, show you the menu. Um, here we go. Let's zoom in a bit. There we go. Uh, moving images right in the middle and surrounding it all. You've got the big words Conan, you've got flames at the bottom. Uh, to the left you've just got one of the towers, to the right you've got another tower and um, obviously uh, it has a lot of extras, they are in French but obviously the beauty of DVDs and Blu-rays is um, you know you can have subtitles but in this case it was all done in English so it would be the French people that would need the subtitles um, all we've got to do is take the French subtitles off on this version uh, so that's not a problem so let's pick out a chapter then uh, and let's see what we think. Oh, it's exciting! Is it exciting? <laughs> Get all excited, all these new steel books I keep getting. What a kid. You wouldn't think I'm over 30, would you? And I'm acting like a baby. Oh, dear. Right, I'm trying to find a clip which doesn't have horrible gore and blood and boobs and stuff, so I get in trouble. Um, let's click on this one here. Um, now, don't sue me if it's got gore and stuff on it, oh, please. I, I, I don't really know. Uh, all I want to do is quickly show you sort of what the quality of the image looks like. Oh, I believe this bit has got nasty gore. I'm going to flick it over. <laughs> no, it's not too bad. She's a nasty bit of work, Rose McGowan, and a hot actress as well. There you are, you can see her there. Um, great, great actress. Horrible makeup on her. They really made her look evil. And I guess that's the role she's playing. So um, she has to do that. <laughs> great transfer rate, by the way. Um, see, she's been nasty. Look, nasty woman she is. Goes around stabbing them with her fingers. Um, 
but uh, the trailer still rate is really, really good. It's got nice colours to it as well. Um, no grain rate. I can give this an 8 out of 10. What do you reckon, guys? 8 out of 10? Um, no, no, you can't see it as well as me, but um, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, I thought this is a pretty nice quality uh, image transfer rate altogether. Right, so that is my Conan one. Here we go. Um, hope you enjoyed that one. I'm, it's going to get nasty now. I'm going to turn it over because our face is just about to get ripped off by those claws. Eesh. It's a gruesome film, I tell you. You know, I don't remember the um, the original Conan's being um, this gory. Every time I, f I put a flick of clip on, and uh, you got a really nasty, gory bit in it. Uh, maybe you want to see that, but um, I'm feeling there'll be one of them guys who will go, I'm going to report him, and uh, so there you go. What can I say? You know, I, I try my best. Well, guys... Um, it's near the end of my competition as well. Um, that ends at the on the 27th. Um, there's quite a lot of entries in there. Some really, really good videos too. So thank you all very much for um, entering. Uh, I look forward to finding out who the winner is. Um, it's going to be a knockout competition. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I will do another competition um, February or March time. I've already got two still books lined up for it already. And I've got one... That I'm going to wait for a new release to come out and I'm not going to tell you what it is yet as well. Um, so that'll be exciting. So I'm going to do the same thing again and I'm going to change the rules of the competition as well. It's not just going to be a lotto pick one winner out. I'm going to have two competitions in one where the other one is going to be something completely different where everyone's in the game and it's all about yourself if you win it or not. So I'm going to make it really, really fair. But uh, I can't reveal all of that until February because... Um, Hey, it's my idea. I want to keep my idea. And next thing I look, everyone else is doing the same, and I'll be redundant and old. So there we go. Um, that's my Conan still book, French version. Hope you enjoyed that um, video to it. Um, and more importantly, uh, I hope you enjoyed Christmas because we're well, hey, well, well, what are we? Three sleeps till Santa, or four, something like that. Not not long now. So um, I look forward to having a great day, and I hope everyone else does too. Um, this one's for all you guys who are thinking about buying this movie. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I weren't too silly in it. I tried to be a bit more sensible. <laughs> but it doesn't work because really I'm a bit of a big kid. Terrible, aren't I? Anyway, guys, you um, have a good one. And um, I'll be doing more Stillbook reviews shortly. Okay then, guys. See you on the flip side. See ya.